Hello. Uh, I'm going to apologize in advance. Uh, I'm using my phone to record this because I currently do not own a regular camcorder. But anyways, what I'm going to show you today is why you do not want to use HCL to uh, dissolve, uh, to extract uh, phosphorus out of a limestone matrix. As you know, or may not know, regular limestone uh, does, when it comes in contact with HCl, produces a reaction with gas evolving. Now that reaction can is explained by this equation here. Uh, C A C O three plus two H C L yield C A C L plus H two O plus C O two. And the gas that's being evolved uh, off of the limestone when it comes in contact with HCl is the carbon dioxide. And the, and, uh, the reason why you don't wa want to uh, do this, even though it does dissolve the rock, the limestone matrix to get to your phosphorus, is if the phosphorus is carbonate base, it will, it, it will produce the same reaction that t that's explained with this formula here which is you know good that you're dissolving the matrix but you're also dissolving the limestone and basically it's a good thing this is only 10 percent so doesn't really do a heck of a lot however sometimes uh silica can replace the carbonate in, uh, in the fossils and that reaction that's a different story because that reaction produces absolutely nothing there's no reaction that takes place but just to play it safe, I would just not do that in general unless you absolutely know that silica replace uh, car carbonate in the fossils. And basically, uh, why this happens is hydrochloric acid is not strong enough. However, if you use hydrofluoric acid, that will uh, dissolve silica too. So. That's basically all I wanted to uh, talk about and show you guys uh, basically what not to do. Have a good day.